What's up, print fam? Welcome back to the print shop. It is a late night. I'm trying to get some rush jobs done, and I tried doing them on the fiber. There's some journals, and they about started on fire. So fiber does not work with the blue journals. It works okay with the black, so we got to figure something else out. So quick shout out to firesprint.com for sponsoring today's episode. I'm warming up the UV printer. Let me show you what I'm doing. So we've talked about DTF for direct-to-garment. This is supposedly DTF for UV printing. We're about to find out. I imported this from overseas. Supposedly this allows you to print directly to this and then adhere it to substrates. So I need some black stuff, black stickers, thingy. So we're gonna try it. Let's jump right into it. Right now it's printing the test plot to make sure the print head is all hunky-dory. And that way I can know if we can print on this sheet. Supposedly there's a sticky side. You print on the sticky side. And uh, I believe you just print right side up. But we're gonna have to do some testing to find out. But again, we gotta see how the print head looks. We are looking good. We've got one white out, but other than that, we're good. We just need black. So let's print her. All right, I took the clear cover off and we're printing on the sticky side. So you can see that it's, it's sticky. Hopefully it works. I, I don't know. Once it prints, you do have to put a laminate layer over top of it. So hopefully this doesn't cause problems. Guess we'll find out. So I don't think this is gonna work because the video I watched before I purchased this stuff the B side, so you print on the A, and then you laminate the B, but the B was a sheet, and it was, it had a backer on it that you then put on top and then squeegeed. Some were on a roll, like mine is, but I thought it still had a backer because I thought I'd be able to just hand do it. But the problem is, this is basically just film, there's no, adhesive property to it it's it's literally just a clear film so i do have a laminator i am going to cut a sheet and attempt to run it through it but i don't think it's gonna work well i accidentally put it down and tried to pull it up and it's stuck so that leaves me with high hopes i just need to layer it right let's try this again all right to prevent some potential issues again we are going to use my cheap little amazon laminator which uh oh i gotta put you down Holy cow, this stuff is sticky and it gets everywhere. Hopefully it worked though. So we're gonna test it to see if it sticks and comes off. So let's try it. So we've got the transfer. I'm going to press it down again. There's a beard hair in there. Supposedly, if you do this correctly, the UV print is supposed to transfer off onto the, like, the rolled stuff. I can't even get the stupid thing. Like, it's really, really sticky and really a pain. Potential applications are really cool. Okay, 
I finally got it. Let's try it. Oh. Okay, so there's the transfer. Definitely have a beard hair in there. I just got my fingerprint on the print itself. Let's see if we can get you guys in on this. I'm sorry that this is the best angle I got. But supposedly, we can put this on here. And you just press it on. This journal's already ruined, so I don't really care if it doesn't work. And then supposedly, oh, hot dog. It worked. I'm shocked. You can definitely get it to come off, but no one's gonna sit there and do this to a journal. All right, hopefully I got some of these that actually worked and don't have hairs in them. All right, print fam, I got my journals decorated. I don't like it, I think it's fine. Doing journals sucks, it's tedious, it's it's not an easy way to make sure it's right and straight, but for like those weird random applications, it's really cool. Being able to do like one-off temporary custom things, like I threw it on a tumbler, looks really cool. Put it on a backpack, looks really cool. But like mass decorating journals or something, I don't think it's worth it. For those like little niche things, I think it's pretty cool. So I'll keep playing with it. If you have questions about it, let me know. I hope this video wasn't like all over the place, but basically UV DTF works. It's a thing. I'll keep testing it. So leave questions, comments, concerns in the chat. Thank you, Cam, for ending the video. Thank you, Fire Sprint, for sponsoring the video. If you guys wanna save 10% off your first order, use the coupon code down in the description they do banners yard signs stickers magnets all sorts of fun stuff so they recently moved to a massive new warehouse to help us out even more so this political season keep them in mind they do one two and three color screen print as well as full color digital thanks as always print fan for being here and we'll see you in the next one Whoosh.